Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with John Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Like the content video, go ahead and smash that like button. Let the content of this channel go ahead and subscribe, man. Look. All right, man. The NFL is playing out like your favorite TV drama. We got a new twist in the series. Uh, the Ravens have officially put the non exclusive tag on Lamar Jackson. All right, now, I'm a Ravens fan. So, to me, this is this is good news. Uh, as a Ravens fan, to me, this is good news. This means that the team is still willing to have Lamar Jackson on their team. That means there is still a want to have Lamar Jackson as the quarterback of the future of this team. Because they know they cannot lose Lamar Jackson for two first-round picks only. That's my thought. They know that how that looks to the public. They know how that looks internally. Um, the Costa said they had four, six, four to six plans about how everything was going to play out. And this is the plan they decided to go with. Okay, great. Now, is it risky? Of course. Of course it is. Because another team could sign Lamar Jackson and the Ravens don't match. They stuck with the two first round picks. But if we're being honest here, there's really only one team the Ravens have to look out for. And that's the Atlanta Falcons. Um, the Bears are not going to do it, right? The Bears have the cash space to do it. But their team is nowhere near good enough. They need more. Um, they just need a better roster all around. So putting all this money into Lamar Jackson and then, and then not having a good team doesn't really make sense for the Bears to do that. Right. Uh, you got other teams. Like I, I know the Dolphins are mentioned, but I think the Ravens will match an offer for them. Um, there's a couple of teams like really only teams with really serious cap space that could hurt the Ravens in this negotiation is the Bears and the Falcons. OK. And uh, like I said, I don't see the Bears doing it. But the other team that I just mentioned, the Atlanta Falcons, that's the big one. That's the big one, all right? The Falcons have about, I think it's like 65 to $70 million in cap space right now. They can sign Lamar Jackson to a monster contract offer that the Ravens possibly could not match. That is the very, very real truth. And there's already reports and rumors out there that the Falcons are very interested in Lamar Jackson. Um, if you think about it, the Falcons think that they're a QB away, Right. They didn't draft Justin Fields a couple years ago. They decided to go with Kyle Pitts instead. Last year they get Drake London. I'm saying it was really it wasn't really a great QB class last year, so that's more understandable. But they signed Marcus Mariota, just like hey, look, because they, they drafted Desmond Ritter. Signed Marcus Mariota, like we're gonna start Mariota. We're gonna try to win games this year. Like we're gonna try to be good, you know. So obviously it didn't work out with Mariota. They end up starting Ritter. Ritter was okay coming down the stretch, but if they got a chance to get Lamar Jackson, you gotta imagine that they'll take it. All right. Um, so that's where I'm at on them. All right. Um, man, this is this, this this is big, man. This is big. So for me, the Ravens are doing the thing that they think is the best to get Lamar Jackson to stay here in Baltimore. And that's exactly how I view it. Um, the non-exclusive tag comes at a hit of thirty two million dollars. The Ravens can afford that a lot easier. I think the Ravens are around like twenty five million dollars in cash space. So this kind of tag is a lot more um, easy for them to absorb and then ship the players out that they need to to get cap compliant. A lot easier for 32 million or over the 25, right? Because, listen, I said this in yesterday's video. If the Ravens would have signed Lamar Jackson to that $45 million exclusive tag, to me, he's being traded. They're trying to get the best trade offer they can as possible, get as many picks out the deal, and move on. Non-exclusive means there's a shot. There's a glimmer of hope here, right? Uh, for the Ravens. Now, um, it's <laughs> it's kind of crazy that we had to get to this point at all, but we're here now, and it's really nothing else that we could do about it. All right, um, it's really no point in mentioning what could have happened in the past, this and that. But uh, but Lamar Jackson is now free and open to negotiate with other teams, and the Ravens are betting on that other teams are not going to go so far outside of what they have already offered Lamar Jackson. And this is why I think they, they're willing to do that, right? Because don't get me wrong, teams want Lamar Jackson, right? He's going to be a hot commodity. Don't get me wrong on that front. But the Ravens are betting on that the owners, the owners club, that nobody's going to do what the Browns did and give a fully guaranteed deal. They're also betting on that nobody's going to give a guaranteed deal with the, with the number is so high that they can't match it, right? Uh, because at the end of the day, these owners are still friends. They know that whatever deal Lamar Jackson gets is setting the market up for the next guy. You best believe Joe Burrow's agent, Jalen Hurst's agent, Justin Herbert's agent. They looking at this. I don't think those guys are going to sign until whatever happened with Lamar Jackson is, is resolved. 
Then they're going to be like, okay, so Lamar got 235 guaranteed. Ravens matched that. Okay, so that's the market. That's what, that's what we want for our guy now. 240. So Lamar holds all the cards in free agency as far as the QB market goes. That's just a flat out honesty, truth about it, right? Um, so I'm 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 happy with the decision because this is the best decision in a absolutely terrible situation. Uh the fact that we've even gotten to this point at with the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. It's not great. It's not great, right? This is your star quarterback. This is the guy who is the the face of the franchise. You know what I'm saying? Like since obviously 2018, when when you know they moved on from Joe Flacco, this has been the guy that's been on the front page of the team. This is this is this this is him. League MVP. This is that guy. So the Ravens are betting that whatever distance that is between Lamar and the team, that some other team will close the gap. Lamar will agree to that contract. And the Ravens will match the offer. Simple as that. Now I know I know another team that, that the people are mentioning there are, is the New York Jets. Okay, uh, to me I think it looks like the Jets are set on Aaron Rodgers. That's just my opinion on it. Just everything that's coming out, all the rumors. Now obviously you only can believe less than half of the rumors that come out. Most of them aren't true, but you just keep seeing that the Jets, the Jets, the Jets. You know what I mean? Like for for Aaron Rodgers, that is. So I think Aaron Rodgers to the Jets is more. More likely than them putting in on a bid on Lamar Jackson. That's just my opinion. We could could be wrong. Um, but uh, but yeah, man. So as far as I see this, this exclusive tag, non-exclusive tag, excuse me. Uh, Lamar is either going to be a Falcon or a Raven next year. That's my prediction on it right now. Um, that's just what makes sense. Like I said, the Falcons think that they're a QB away, right? They they got some talent on offense. Cordero Patterson, decent offensive line. Kyle Pitts, Drake London. Probably need to add one one more receiver in there because, uh, you know, they, they just lost Calvin Ridley, obviously, to, to the Jaguars. Um, so, and their defense, um, I don't think their defense was that good. I can't comment any, if any Falcons fans happen to watch this video. You know, let me know. But uh, they think they're a quarterback away. And they have the cap space to make it very, very difficult for the Ravens to match, right? Because initially, I thought that you just had to match the contract and then you can work on the deals yourself, the, the, the terms yourself. But I think you have to match the terms of the contract as well. So if the Falcons were to front load the contract so heavily, especially this season where the Ravens couldn't match it, then that could be very, very bad for the Ravens. This right here, what the Ravens are doing is what you call, it's called a calculated risk. It's called a calculated gamble. They're gambling on no other team will go so far and step outside of... Um, what they're willing to do. Um, is it right? Is it wrong? We shall see. You know, the Ravens have been down in Indianapolis. I'm sure that they've engaged in interest. I've heard people say, well, are the Ravens dumb enough to put a non scripture tag on him, knowing that other teams are lying to them about what they'd be willing to offer Lamar Jackson? And you also got to take it to the other side, too. The Ravens know these other teams could be lying about their interest, could be lying about how much they're willing to, they'd be willing to pay. So it kind of goes both ways on that, right? So it's on the Ravens to weed through the BS, see who's kind of telling the truth, who's not, and come up with the best decision for the team. Um, like I've said, man, I, I really view this as the Ravens versus the Falcons. The Falcons would give Lamar Jackson um, a good contract, maybe a contract that he likes, that he agrees to. It's up to the Ravens to make that decision to match it. Because if they don't, you're starting over. There's no other way to say it, all right? Um, the quarterbacks in this draft class... There are some good ones. I like I like Stroud. I like the way he throws the football. I even like Bryce Young. I'm not, even though you know people have their height height concerns and body concerns about him, I like Bryce Young. But AR is a project. Anthony Richardson is a project, and, and Will Levis I'm just not interested in. So if if those are the options at quarterback at rookies, one you have a team that's ready to win now. You're going to be starting over with a rookie QB, or two you go the free agency route. And I mean Derek Carr just signed. Not saying I even wanted Derek Carr, but he just signed. I don't really know who are the options out there that gives you a realistic chance to still be a team that has say, hey, look, we want to win the AFC North. We want to win the playoff games. We want to possibly win the Super Bowl and free agency. There's no other QB like that. Um, there's some stopgap guys, I guess, if you want to say, hey, we're going to draft a Ricky and send him for a year. But no, I, I not 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 to me, not for my liking. All right. Um, this right here. Uh, is the best the Ravens could do in a bad situation. The non-exclusive tag, um, it lets the Ravens take this negotiation a step further because it seems like either the Ravens wouldn't budge or Lamar wouldn't budge. So now when this happens, somebody got to move their number. 
whether it's the Ravens, whether it's Lamar Jackson. Somebody has to move their numbers. Somebody has to agree to what's uh, being what's being put out there. Simple as that. Um, so we'll see what happens there, man. Um, it's it's interesting times. It's a tough times, but I think it's I think it was the right play. It's it's a calculated risk. It's a calculated risk. Um, the non exclusive tag, like I said to me, means that the Ravens have hope. If they would have put that exclusive tag on them. The Lamar Jackson area would have been over in Baltimore. There's no way they was going to pay him that on the tag for that kind of cap hit. Um, so that's my thoughts on it, man. You know, we'll see what happens next. But like your favorite drama, it's just going to keep rolling, unfolding, and unfolding. We'll see what the next twist and turn is. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video, man. If you got to this point, uh, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, more Ravens videos to come. But uh, I'm going to get out of here, man. It's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.